to you for ages. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be talking to you about goal of the month, though. But it was a, it was a pretty good goal against Cardiff. Just was you happy with it? Yeah, I was buzzing with it. I don't really. I was saying earlier in the press, I don't know how it went in. Like the goalkeeper's helped me out massively, but it was a good goal, and yeah, the scenes after was good. What point did you realise when it's coming over? I'm gonna have to make it this. Well, I was saying it was, it was more instinct. Um, I try a few stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I try a few stupid bits on the training field, and usually they don't work. But luckily, luckily that time it did, so it's good. You know, Jack, September goal of the month against Mansfield. A volley also, but obviously different. You're running onto it as well. Is that more tricky because you're running at quite a pace? Um, to be fair, I just anticipated it coming off the bar, and I saw the man marking was falling asleep basically, so I just hit my chest, and luckily. <laughs> <laughs> went in to be honest, like, yeah, it just felt right, felt right for me. And it looks like possibly in contention for October goal, that was already the, the strike against Macclesfield as well. Which yeah. goal? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about it. Yeah, um, nah, it's not really matter how they go in, you know, it's just the quantity over quality, but take one of them all day long, like, Harry. <laughs> how, how do you find your form and how you start with you? Obviously, different this year, yeah. imagine playing a bit more regularly as well and in a, in a back three as well. Yeah, I think it suits, it suits the way I play a back three. Um, I do like playing the, the right side of centre half. Um, it's challenging at the minute. Obviously, we probably should be getting more results than we are. Um, but no, it's going well. How different is it for you playing a back three? Is it something you've played in throughout your youth days, um, throughout your career so far? Yeah, I haven't played a lot of it. Uh, we played a few times in uh, the youth team. Um, but we get taught, we get trained out there by the gaffer. Um, so it's always we're always learning to do more. Uh, so that's good. Jack, how have you settled in at United so far? It's a bit different probably from turning up at Spurs training again every day. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different, but um, something that I'm enjoying. Uh, obviously, when I first came, I signed on a Monday and I played on Tuesday. So like, I think that helped me out a lot in terms of just playing and showing everyone what I can do. And I think it really helped me um, settle in with everyone and everyone's been great. So I'm enjoying it. In terms of transition, is it, is it tricky because there's the glitz and the glamour about obviously being at Spurs and then you come here and different when you sort of turn up as Port Cavins and obviously it's a bit more homemade probably. Uh, yeah, it's a, bit more, I'd say it's a bit more real. Yeah. From that Tottenham, everything's a bit, everyone looks after you, everything's done for you. But I think here, which is what I need to be honest, a bit more growing up and doing things myself really. First senior appearance I believe was against Scunthorpe as well, how was that for you? Yeah that was, as I said, I trained on the Monday I signed and on Tuesday I was in the starting 11 so that was that was a really good game for me, it was probably one of the best I've had, uh, probably at Bar Macclesfield so yeah like, I thought that was a really good game. Harry Fuse, I probably went 11 at a breakthrough season because you've been playing the team for quite a while now but in terms of appearances it probably one at the end of the season, obviously assuming your injuries, you probably played more appearance than you have before. Or does it feel like that for you that it is potentially like a pro season where you you are established yourself as a first team player? Yeah, I, I said at the start of the season to myself, like I set goals and that, um, and I said that I want this to be a bit of a breakthrough season, like you say. Um, it's just about, especially at our age, just trying to rack up their numbers and appearances and start. So just hopefully get as many as I can this year. Mm. And Jack, future plans for you? Is there, do you ever think at your age there's a long term plan of where you want to be five, ten years' time? Or is it yeah, of course, there's always got to be a plan or a goal to everything you do. Um, to be honest, I'm quite lucky to be at Tottenham. Um, I just want to pick up as much as I can here, learn everything. Obviously, do everything properly. I'm not just using Cambridge, I want to help Cambridge. But the longer, the longer term, obviously, is to help me in the future with Tottenham. And you two seem to have struck up some sort of friendship as well, were you been here as well? Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs>